So uh, now I'll uh, ask some questions related to Tableau. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what do you mean by circular referencing in Tableau? So, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of this, or might be I'm not able to recall. Like in, uh, it is related to what? So, so when we create calculated fields, right? So there is a concept called that circular referencing, uh, wherein I'm using, I'm creating one calculated field, I'm using that calculated field in another calculated field. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. Like, uh, it will, uh, we, uh, if you are uh, using, uh, writing a calculated field, suppose like, or uh, maybe to, uh, profit, uh, suppose sum of profit, and you have profit, and if you want to calculate the percentage, so what we will do, uh, sum of profit is created one calculated field, and in other calculated field, we want the, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, like percentage or that, that's a uh, ratio. Then if you take profit, drag and drop profit column, and uh, then again drag and drop that particular calculated field, uh, like sum of profits. So it will be sum of profits divided by the total profit. So in this case, we can use uh, uh, interuse uh, calculated field in another calculated fields. Okay. So you mentioned about uh, the performance optimizations of uh, Tableau dashboard. Can you explain the process what you might have done for your project and what was the why was it necessary to improve the performance? Yeah, uh, so uh, there was one challenge that uh, I faced that it was given to me as a task like wherein the dashboard was created all, already. However, uh, it was uh, performing slow that like, like uh, when I went to server, uh, uploaded it on server and when I checked that it was uh, under uh, start load time, like it was taking around more than 20 seconds to load the dashboard. So I have to debug that uh, dashboard and check. So when I debugged using the server, uh, under menu, uh, there is a server. Under server, there is an option called uh, run uh, performance optimizer that I uh, run the performance optimizer. It gave me a uh, layout in which uh, it uh, gave and clue that uh, if any nesting, uh, this is the, uh, you know, containers are used or nested calculations are used, the calculated fields that we can reduce by writing the uh, direct query in the uh, that one field. So no, that is given if any actions need to be taken. Uh, so I've checked that. Uh, and as per that, I have worked like I have uh, checked that the dashboard had multiple containers and uh, blanks as it is, so, which are unnecessary. So I removed that. Uh, that also had an impact. Uh, uh, also, on worksheet level, when I gave, uh, went and checked the uh, worksheet level, that it might uh, have taken a lot of uh, uh, dragged and drop fields and filters were attached, which were unnecessary. So I removed that. So in this way, and also I have uh, checked on load stat that if it takes the correct time to load, if it's within 10, 20 seconds, then it was optimized. So this is how I, uh, how I used a performance optimizer. Okay, so it, uh, how do you know that it improved the performance? Uh, what are your metrics due to which you were able to understand that yes, now it is working good? Uh, so as I said, the containers, uh, which was also mentioned in performance optimization, the calculated fields were uh, just uh, like I explained, like uh, I had one calculate, created one profit, sum of profit calculated field, and then using another calculated field. Instead of that, using that calculated field, uh, uh, like we can write uh, there itself that sum of profits. Uh, so this uh, can uh, this reduce the uh, and yeah this was the only two parts uh, uh, when I did this performance and I checked a basis of uh, running that on the server so uh, like uh, how much time it took on the servers once I published uh, uh, when I opened that uh, entire dashboard to see the view so it opened uh, within less time than the previous one that I have checked before uh, doing the performance. How did you of, make, how did you check this? How do you uh, figure it out the time? Start, it starts uh, uh, time that uh, is present on the server. So it will show you like how many views are there and how uh, much time it took to open the dashboard. So from there, I was able to figure out this. Okay. So do you have Tableau installed on your laptop? Yes. 
can you please connect it to the sample superstore? Sure. Shall I share my screen? Yeah, please. Is it visible? Yes, it is visible. Okay. So uh, you need to calculate uh, basically the sales and the profit in a single chart. Okay. And then you have to create a parameter so that you can switch between the different measures like sales and profit within a single chart itself. Okay. Uh, so do you want me to go with uh, what's up category by sales and profit? Yeah, anything. Just I need sales and profit based on any dimension you want to. And then you have to create a parameter so that you can switch between the sales and profit within that single chart. So this is uh, one single uh, this, uh, so I'll create one parameter. This, these are two charts, right? You have to show it within a single chart. Right? Okay. So if I do it to Alexis, it will be... In this case, it means
Make sure why this is showing this one. Okay, I think we can move to the next question. A lot of time. Okay. So uh, my next question is another scenario-based question using the sample suggestion. Uh, suppose if you have sorry. to determine. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So this is working as of now. So blue okay. color is like selected profit or like, and if I select sales, it's showing me sales. Mm, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So uh, open another worksheet. <clears throat> uh, I need to determine the profit ratio using the sample super stop. So I want to basically figure out, analyze the profitability across the different categories, subcategories, and suppose say regions. Okay, so profit ratio is nothing but how much profit I'm doing out of the total number of sales. Okay, so profit by sales will give you the profitability. So you have to show the profit ratio. Uh, based on categories, subcategories, and regions. Okay. So profit uh, divided by sales uh, is a uh, yes. yeah. so profit divided by sales. So, category wise. Oh, this is how um uh...
Okay, I think that's fine. You can stop sharing this. So, uh, can you tell me about a situation wherein uh, some of your analysis might have helped the business? Any experiences you have? Uh, like basically into finding uh, logical discrepancies uh, firstly and uh, creating the KPIs, a uh, major KPIs like, uh, uh, you know, like... Uh, where first finding logical discrepancies like uh, well, in a recent project that there was uh, uh, two columns of profit and sales. Uh, so while analyzing the data, um, I found that profits, uh, wherever there are profits, there are losses as well. So it doesn't go simultaneously. When you have a profit, you will not have loss. So in this case, I was able to find that uh, logical discrepancy. And uh, in uh, generating KPIs, like uh, uh, um, I have uh, created KPIs, like uh, which can help, uh, uh, like uh, so suppose uh, uh, to check the which uh, uh, subcategory is giving more profit uh, to the uh, uh, company and which is not, so that we can improve our sales uh, for that particular category. Also, we can I have checked this in maps so that uh, we can analyze the states where there are less sales and uh, we can increase the uh, sales in that so that it can gain a maximum profit to the company. Okay, awesome. Where do you see yourself in the next five years of time? Uh, so definitely I will see myself as an asset to the company uh, and uh, definitely maybe I am the uh, other side of this uh, interview. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Shalja, for joining in today's interview. We'll start with the feedback session. If you want to have a glass of water, you can. Sure, thank you so much.